Hello everyone. This video discusses the solution to the first example on buoyancy and it is about a hydrometer. So this is the problem. A hydrometer consists of an 8 mm diameter cylinder of length 20 cm attached to a 25 mm diameter weighted spear. The cylinder has a mass of 1.2 grams and the mass of the spear is 12.8 grams. At what level from the junction of the cylinder and sphere will this device float in liquids having specific gravities of 0.8, 1.0, and 1.2? By the way, hydrometer is a device that is designed in such a way that it consists of a cylindrical part where the graduation for specific gravity is being marked and the bulb part which is of any shape in this case it is spherical in other situations it may be conical or cylindrical another cylindrical uh, part and the bottom portion should be heavier than the upper part so that this device can float upright in this position when floated in any liquid so the intersection of the liquid surface with the stem then you just read it then you can uh, calibrate and label the specific gravity of that liquid so that's the principle of a hydrometer so it will automatically or directly reads the specific gravity by the intersection between the liquid surface and the markings, graduations for specific gravities on this uh, stem. So the stem is 8 mm in diameter or 0.4 cm in radius and the uh, spear has a radius also of 12.5 mm or 1.25 cm. Since the given uh, mass the given is the mass of the stem and the spear so we'll use we express buoyant force as buoyant mass also in grams so buoyant force in the cylindrical part plus buoyant force in the spherical part is equal to 1.2 grams plus 12.8 grams so to be consistent with the units this buoyant force must be in gram also so that it is consistent so this is the free body diagram so buoyant force in the cylindrical part is equal to specific gravity times density of water which is one gram per cubic centimeter then the volume is pi 0.4 cm square times h for the cylindrical part so pi 0.4 cm square times h plus specific gravity of the liquid BFS times 1 gram per cubic centimeter the density of water in gram per cubic centimeters then the volume of the sphere in cubic centimeter is 4 thirds pi radius 1.25 cm cube then equals 1.2 plus 12.8 which is 14 so expressing h in terms of the other terms so the working equation for h is 14 minus this value here in terms of s which is 8.1812 s divided by this is 0 0.16 pi s so that's the working equation so for the first question 1.1 when s is 0 0.8 substitute in this equation 0 0.8 so we'll get h equals uh, 18.54 cm and when for 1.2 s is 1 so substitute s is 1 in this working equation you'll get h is 11.58 cm and for 1.3 s is 1.2 substitute 1.2 here you'll get h equals 6.934 cm so in other words, the graduation for the specific gravity should be from low specific gravity near the top 
then as we go down the graduation will, will increase closer to the junction between the stem and the spear so that's all for this problem